thought I would come on this morning looking alive rather than just woken up and dead. <laughs> just never a good look. So this morning I've just had a really lazy one really. Little cuddles with Pussycat and watched a couple of vlogs and had my banana cake, pancakes and coffee and had a bath and put my face on and I'm ready to face the day. It's a bit rainy, a bit the typical English weather, um, but it's milder, so that's good. Today I thought we would go to a tack shop, a bit random, I know. My sister-in-law has two ponies for my nieces. She's asked me to try and find some grooming gloves, some kids' grooming gloves. I don't know if they exist, but I um, thought we might pop to a tack shop and find out. I definitely need to go and get some beauty blenders. I don't know about you, but I just can't clean them. They just get so monkey, I, they, I, I can't clean them. So I need to get some more of those. And I also need to get some more lip glosses from Boots or Superdrug, because uh, I'm out. Just generally, let's just have a poodle and get out, get out of the flat. I've had a couple of, I was gonna say parcels, but they're not parcels. So I've had my In The Moment magazine delivered, which must be January's, because I've had December's, but I've actually canceled the subscription, not because I don't like the magazine, I do, I love it but I had a special deal that was six magazines for 9.99, which was just an absolute bargain. But obviously that ran out and I didn't want to resubscribe at the full price because I'm tight. Well, I'm not tight, but you have to think about what you spend your money on, don't you? If I can find another good deal, I'll get another magazine or the same one, I don't know. And I've also got a little box. So I'm gonna open that. It's not massively exciting, but I'll show you what it is anyway. This magazine's great this a year of life lessons a journaling book of wise words with space to write your own and then the magazine yeah it's January create your own path <laughs> that's what I need to do I really do need to create my own path how do you do it well I'm gonna read it so lots of really great things in this magazine lots of motivation yoga type stuff meditation choosing to be present I've shown you this before, it's a great magazine. Right, let's get this little baby open. Here it is. What's inside, do you think? You'll never, ever guess. <laughs> never. Out. We have got, what's this I hear you ask? This is pine resin. 10% off code, winter10. It says, I got all this from this place called Livemore. Livemore are committed to using sustainable packaging and minimal non-biodegradable materials. Where we use plastics, these are either 100% biodegradable or 100% recyclable. We reuse packaging materials where possible and recycle all waste materials. Together we can all do our bit to help the environment. That's really nice. In here we have a hobot wheel. I think you're wondering, hmm? <laughs> a few weeks ago, I tried to make beeswax wraps and I bought beeswax and I melted it on the 100% cotton in the oven and they don't stick. They're really bad. They're really hard and not pliable and they just don't stick properly. So I did a bit more research and it turns out that really in order to make the beeswax wraps that we all see in the shops that are really, really good and sticky and, and you know, hold around bowls and sandwiches and stuff, you need three ingredients, beeswax, pine resin and jojoba oil. So I'm going to give it another go because I wanted to put a homemade beeswax wraps or two in my eco boxes for my, my friends at Christmas, but I couldn't give them the, the ones that I made because they were useless. So I'm going to try again with this. This is the material that I'm using for the beeswax wraps. This one and this one, which has got um, to toucans. Never as easy as it looks, but I'm continuing, I'm continuing. Okay, so it's day six and we're going to open the advent calendar. Here she is, number six is there. It looks a bit tuby to me. So let's go in. What's going to be inside here? Ooh. It's a, oh, it's Sukin face scrub, I think. 
Revitalizing Facial Scrub, paraben free, bamboo extract and ground walnut shell exfoliate, removing dirt and impurities to leave skin looking smooth, all skin types. I've had this before, it's brilliant. So that's great. Oopsie, get on now. It's time to go outside. It is. It's time to go outside. I know you don't want to. Also, I forgot about the car situation. I found some glue. I don't know if this is going to work. For one and two sided bonding, UV and water resistant, fast and extra strong adhesive. I'm going to give that a go on my car. <laughs> and hopefully it'll stick down. What a nightmare. Right, let's see now. Can I fix it? So the sat nav has taken me somewhere where there is no tax shop. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Flipping sat navs. is I've had to stop in a lay-by because uh, my sat-nav took me to nowhere and now I'm just completely lost I don't know where this tax shop is I've been driving around for miles and wasting petrol so I found the lane I god knows why it took me down the other dirt track and it's blocked so after all that it did take me down the right road well I am yet to find out if it took me down the right road. But this is the lane that has the lorry in the middle of it. I can't believe there's a tax shop down here. This is not the one that I was thinking of. Oh, I don't know where this flipping place is. Oh, you're having a laugh. So now I've just come round. Oh, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. <laughs> Well, I found a tack shop. It just looks like barns to me. We'll go and have a look. Honestly, I've been in the car. I can't even tell you how long I've been in the car. Over an hour. What a waste of time. A waste of time. Mm. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a waste of time after all that. Uh -huh. They don't have kids grooming gloves. I don't think anybody does kids grooming gloves. It's just adult versions. And um, they didn't really have anything that I could get for Crimbo. They had like mini uh, grooming things for children, but I'm not sure if my sister-in-law wants those because she's already got grooming stuff. So I don't know. Maybe we should just go shopping. Yeah, let's go shopping. very well today. Their super drug was rubbish. Yeah, I've just come on, can you believe it? Time of the month. Which is possibly why I was so emotional yesterday, although it was a really, really, really stressful day, but it could explain why 
I took it so, 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 so badly. I don't know. You just don't know, do you? But, so I've got a raging um, stomach ache as well, and I've got no pills with me. Yay! I've got myself a sarni, some crisps, and a free waitress coffee. I'm just going to scoff this, and then I'm going to head to. Just checking. Gonna head to another town where I can definitely get my lip glosses and what's what's it's and all that jazz and I can't even speak I'm sorry. <laughs> say the weather it ain't good squally heavy showers so mm, interesting uh, off home now I've got the worst period pain and headache and I feel sick <laughs> great so I'm going home not a very successful day I bought a few things Christmas and whatnot I'll show you when I get back back Ugh. too much driving today too much traffic too much driving too much rain too much period pain what did I buy I bought an aubergine I bought some reduced gammon steaks with parsley sauce three pounds fifty five cavalo nero love this stuff I bought this in tiger tiger or flying tiger whatever it's called I bought this it's a concertina stool, a recycled cardboard concertina stool. So I thought I'd give that a go, not necessarily as a stool, but I thought you could put a little tray on top and make it into a nice coffee table. But it could be, actually it might be too small. I'll get it out in a minute, we'll have a look. I bought my nieces a Christmas present each, exactly the same because otherwise it's fighting. Obviously because they're both into horses, I bought them this cosy lamp. It glows in different colours. Sister-in-law's going to hate it. <laughs> a bath bomb each. One is grapefruit, one is orange. And I also bought these. I thought they were really cute. These are tiny weeny little candlesticks. They were a pound each. I thought they were a bargain. They were really, really pretty. Sweet. Not going to last long, but metal. So I thought they were nice. A couple of lottery tickets. Pray for me, keep your fingers crossed. Mm, it's not got a pattern on it, has it? Right, this is it. This is bizarre, it's like a book. Mm. Oh. Oh my goodness, I don't want to break it. I'm not sure how tight that's going to be. Ah, genius! That's a cardboard stool. Dare me to sit on it? Gonna have to, aren't I? Ready? <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it works. Do you know, for seven pounds, I think I might just keep it. 
because even if you fold it up and put it away you can whip it out and use it as a uh, spare coffee table so ladies and gentlemen i'm going to sign off today has been busy lots of driving driving for no reason crazy um but i've got a few things anyway a few little christmas presents and what have you and i've been out so that's good going to take some pills for the old tum tum and head and hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and speak tomorrow.